Hematuria is the hallmark of kidney injury, however the degree of hematuria does not reflect the injury severity. CT with contrast and delays is the imaging of choice with injuries ranging from hematomas to lacerations to major vessel disruption and devascularization. Most injuries are observed unless there is hemodynamic instability or major vessel or ureteropelvic junction disruption. Otherwise, urine leaks can be percutaneously drained and will resolve spontaneously. If in the OR, all penetrating injuries or pulsatile hematomas should be explored. 95% of traumatic ureteral injuries are due to penetrating trauma. However, ureteral injuries most often occur iatrogenically in the OR. Management is dictated by the location of the injury and stability of the patient. In stable patients, a ureteropelvic junction disruption requires a formal repair with reanastomosis or a ureteropilostomy. A mid-ureteral injury that can achieve a tension-free repair should be fixed via a ureteroureterostomy by spatulating the two ends and approximating the mucosa with absorbable suture over a double J stent. Low pelvic or distal ureteral injuries can be repaired with a ureteroneocystostomy. The bladder can also be mobilized via a psoas hitch to reduce tension on the anastomosis. Hematuria is the best indicator of bladder injury and present in almost 100% of cases. 90% of bladder injuries are associated with pelvic fractures, but only 5-10% to of pelvic fractures have an associated bladder injury. Diagnosis is made with cystography, and injuries are characterized as extraperitoneal or intraperitoneal. Extraperitoneal injuries demonstrate contrast extravasation in a starburst pattern, whereas intraperitoneal injuries demonstrate contrast outlying loops of bowel or filling the cul-de-sac. Uncomplicated extraperitoneal injuries are managed with a Foley catheter for decompression, whereas intraperitoneal injuries are repaired operatively in two layers with urethral catheter drainage. Urethral injuries are associated with pelvic fractures and straddle injuries. Blood at the meatus is highly sensitive for an injury, with other findings including perineal ecchymoses, gross hematuria, an inability to void, and a high-riding prostate. Attempts to insert a Foley catheter should be avoided, and diagnosis is made with a retrograde urethrogram. Treatment can include surgical decompression with a suprapubic tube and potential urethral repair or realignment.